All right, so who's up for a good bluegrass challenge today? We're looking at Pocahontas, one of Bill's later tunes that never got recorded on an album, just a couple of bootleg recordings to refer to. It's got a lot of the Native American vibe in it, four parts in a minor key, really, really challenging, level 10. Let's check it out. <laughs> Okay, there you go. It's a lot of work. Let's listen a little slower. So let's dive into this. Let's check out the first line. Sounds like this. A little slower. All 
right, so we got the pickup note here on the fourth beat. One, two, three, four. So we got our slide. One E and a two E and third fret of the A on an upstroke. Uh, then open A. Three, five, two, five, two, two, two. All right, so let's get that in our heads. All right, so let's play that much. Here we go. One, two, three, four. All right, and so from there, it sounds like this. All right, so we're starting on the open D. Open, then three strokes, starting with an upstroke on the second fret. Open D. Then you're going to cross over to the G string, fifth fret with an upstroke, then a downstroke. And then there's kind of a ghost note where he releases the pressure from the fret, but it doesn't really sound. And so you're just gonna kind of get a little click there and then down to the second fret. So all that is And that's how the phrase continues. So this is what we just learned. So that second fret of the A is an eighth note. And from there it goes like this. All right, so after our eighth note, we got two more notes on the second fret, up to the fifth fret, second fret of the D, another downstroke there. So you cross on an upstroke and then you play your downstroke. Then up to the fifth fret, and then you're down to the second fret, droning with the A. All right, so that sounds like this. Okay, so that's the first line. Let's play it from the beginning. One, two, three, four. All right, so we're gonna start the second line on that second fret of the D, droning with the A. Let's listen to it. All right, let's get that much of it. So we got down, down, up, down, up, down. Then you're gonna go an upstroke on the third fret of the A into the open A, ring in there for a little bit. Four strokes before you're sliding with your ring finger from the fifth fret to the seventh fret of the A string into the E string. So dum da 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 And then on the downbeat of the next bar, there's another eighth note. So let's look at that slide again. One more eighth note there, and then you're gonna play the open A with just a little bit of the open E ring. And then you're gonna come down to the second fret of the D. And that second, second fret of the D note is where the next line starts. So let's look at this last little lick here. This is really tricky stuff that we're doing here. So we got this. So it's starting on the second fret of the D, droning with the open A, down, up, down, up, down, up to the fifth fret of the D, and then back to the second fret. All right, so getting down is very similar to the first line, except it just doesn't have the... And so you're just basically starting from there. All right, so let's play that whole second line that we just learned there. So three and four and. And this is where the third line starts. So that one's starting out with your second fret of the D and droning with the open A. And this is a signature sound for this first part. Third fret, and then the 5 2 5 stuff. And then here. 
here comes the last line. All right, let's listen to that again. This is the last line. So some big eighth notes here. Three open, five, second, second, open, fifth fret of the G, and then down to the second fret. That's where it kind of ends and it hangs there. All right. All right, so let's play this whole first A part. Here we go. One, two, three. Okay, so the second A part is a lot similar, um, but it's different, of course. As you may have already been able to tell, it's a lot like Southern Flavor, this opening line. This whole part's a lot like Southern Flavor, but it's different. Okay, so now let's have a look at this first line of the second A. All right, so it's got these pickup notes. So pick up notes on the second fret of the D. One, two, three, four, five of them. And we're coming out of the, the, the first half of the A part. And a four E. And then you're sliding from five to seven. This is the downbeat of the second half of the A. One E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one E. Down to the second fret. And he does this really cool little move right there. So two, 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 five. There's a kind of a little rest stroke there. On the G string. Two, 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 five, rest stroke. Two on the D, five, two. La da 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 Okay, so let's listen to this whole line just to get it in our minds a little bit more. Anticipating that third fret of the A this time. And this time he's grabbing the third fret of the E. And then he plays an open E. And then he does this move. Which is 25252, two, five, two, droning with the open A. Right, so now we're into the third line of the second A. All right, so when we're heading towards the last line, getting down to that second fret of the G note. That's how you get to the last line. All right, let's listen one more time. All right, so let me count this out for you so you can feel this time in here. This is the third line. So 
So one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one E and a two E and a three and a four E and a one. All right, so that's real sneaky business there. So second fret, move into the fifth fret on an upstroke, downstroke, crossing over to the second fret of the D, upstroke, downstroke, upstroke on the fifth fret of the D, and then the open A. All right, that's a lot to remember, but just try to get the sound and you hear it. to the last line. The last line sounds like this. So real distinct and real deliberate. So starting with an open A, eighth note. Third fret of the A. Third open five two two O and then cross into the G string, fifth fret, upstroke, five, two. All right. So, <laughs> leading into the B part. All right. So, let's play the second half of the A. And it's super complicated. Don't worry about getting every little last detail. It takes hours and hours and hours of listening and practice to get this. So just do the best you can with it now. Get the basic general shape and go back and get as many details as you can later. Or just try to get all the details and move along at your own pace. So here we go with the second half of the A. One, two, three. Let's have a listen to the B part. Very challenging. Coming out of the A part. So we're going to be using our ears a lot to learn this. We're coming up into the bottom two fingers of the D chord. And this is a really unusual shape right here. So we're sliding from the bottom two notes of the D chord. Up two frets with your ring finger to the ninth fret of the G. And then your middle finger is going to be on the seventh fret of the D. And this is one of the most complicated things that you'll ever learn with Bill's stuff. So take it slow and just try to use your ear as much as possible. So let's just get a little bit more of the shape in our, our minds. We'll hum along to it. So now let's have that just a little bit slower. What do you say? Okay, so coming into the D. And this is a really cool chord shape right here. This is with your ring finger on the ninth fret of the G, little finger on the 10th fret of the D, 
seventh fret of the A with your middle finger and your first finger on the fifth fret of the E. It's an A minor chord. It's just a really gorgeous, beautiful chord on the mandolin. And so we're going to be working out of this position a lot in this part and the next part. All right, so let's try to wrap our mind a little bit more around this melody here. All right, so let's get that little part right there. So ring finger on the ninth fret, up to the middle finger note on the seventh fret, and this is going to be an, an, a staggered thing. So you're moving on your upstrokes. Do, 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 seven, then your little finger on the 10th fret, up to the 7th fret of the A, and then finally the 5th fret of the E with your first finger. All right, so this little passage one more time. to the seventh fret of the A and you're going to be droning a little bit with the open E there and you're going to kind of do a little hammer on there from the fifth fret of the A into the seventh fret this is really hard so that little part right there got your hammer on Upstroke back to the fifth fret, down to the seventh fret with your middle finger. And you dip down to the seventh, the fifth fret of the A of the D, excuse me, fifth fret of the D with your first finger. So let's walk it back from the D. open A. And this is the second half of the B, I guess you could call it. So this first half of the B is really hard. Coming out of the A part one more time. So this is where you're going to really need to use your ear. So you're up here on the 5th fret and the 7th fret of the E after the, what is the 5 chord. So we got this. Five chord. So this is a little tricky business here. So it's the hammer on again from five to seven on the A string, down to the open A string, and you're ringing this with your open E. Upstroke on the seventh fret of the D, down to the fifth fret of the D. Then you're going to cross with an upstroke to the ninth fret of the G. Then a brush after the fifth fret of the D note again and then back into your low double stop with your middle finger on the seventh fret. All right, so let's play that much. So you're just kind of really anchored in this low double stop position. 
and then up to your little finger note on the 10th fret. Back to your 7th fret note. And then to the 5th fret with your first finger. And then kind of really accent your ring finger note here. Alright, so this is definitely the toughest part of a Monroe tune that we've ever tackled here. So we need to really try to get it in our ears as much as we can and going really slowly is tough to hear it all and to explain it all. So forgive me if I make a little error here or there. This is the toughest of the tough right here. So just try to use your ear as much as you can. So coming out of the D one more time. One, two, three. Do -do 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 -do. Let's go through that just a little bit faster. And if you're getting kind of the shape and the feel of it, it's good. Just keep hacking it out until it gets closer and closer. So here we go right into the D part again. One, two, three. have a look at this C part and this is really just one of the coolest things that Bill ever did really it sounds like this So this is really, really cool and complicated. Let's try to dial in on it a little bit. So it's working out of this position right here with your ring finger, little finger, and your middle finger on the ninth fret, 10th fret, and 7th fret of the G, D, and A strings, respectively. And it starts out with a little pickup note action. So that's ring, and then your 7th fret of the D, then up to the 10th fret with your little finger. And then you're going to do this little move. We're going to be playing the G string fretted, the D string fretted, and you're going to do a hammer on from the sixth fret of the A with your first finger into the middle finger note on the seventh fret. All right. And then you play this chord right here, this position, two more times. And then you do your hammer on again. So it's the hammer on the chord twice and then the hammer on again. And then you do the hammer on chord two times in a row. And this is the really cool part. All right. So after you two more times, so you got the hammer on, chord, chord, hammer on, then two hammer ons, hammer, hammer, and you're going to get an upstroke on the sixth fret of the A with your first finger, then down to your little finger note, then you're going to end up on your seventh fret of the D. All right, and that is just absolutely the coolest right there. And you're going to step up with those pickup notes again. So you got 
and then you're going to do this real quick hammer off down to your first finger on the fifth fret of the A. Then you're going to toggle with the 10th fret of the D with your little finger down to the 7th fret of the D. And then you're going to do that and la -da 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 -da, down to your 5th fret with your first finger. La -da 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 -da. So let's look at what we got so far. La -de -de -de. starts off the same way again but this time he's just chomping it every time the rhythm is just slightly different there this time and then after that this is really cool is a really tricky pull-off move. <laughs> I called it a hammer off before. So you're pulling that off down to your 10th fret of the D note with your little finger down to the 7th fret of the D and then you're into that low double stop. All right so let's just listen to this part just a little faster. It might make a little bit more sense so you can hear it better. Slower. A little slower. One more time. One more time, a little slower. So I know this is crazy and funky and really hard to hear, really hard to decipher, really hard to understand, really hard to explain the best way is really to use your ear. Okay, so let's look at this part again. One, two, three. slide into the last part so we're ending up here and it's kind of smoky and mysterious as to exactly what he's doing but this note is involved it's called the g-sharp note and so he's pulling that down and he's coming up probably from the second fret of the g but it's really hard to tell on the recording so after this Okay, so that's how we get into the last part. Kind of walking it up, you know, in a scalar fashion. With a slide in it. Okay, so now let's listen, listen, listen to this last part. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Okay, so let's have that just a little bit slower coming out of the last part we were looking at. So he's chopping up into this lower part of the D chord. He's sliding from 6 to the 4th fret with his ring figure. And then down to 202. <laughs> Two. 
okay? <laughs> So that's two, five, five, open two. Doo, 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 doo. And so that is kind of the climax of the tune right there. All right, so let's get that little deep section again. One, two, three. So after that big climax there, it's and a four e and a one e and a two e and a three e and a four. All right. Da 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 da. Slide fifth fret five three three open open. All right. Da 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 da. So three two open on the A. Three two open five five two two. All right. So let's try this whole last part with the D business up to there. One two three four. we haven't learned yet so and this is really stately the way he's, he's doing this here so slide in five seven five two 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 open fifth fret two 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 so coming out of the E This little ending leg. Let's check that rhythm out real good. One e and a two e and a three. One more time, go. One e and a two e and a three and a four e and a one and a two e and a three. All right, a little faster. One, two, three, four. Alright, so coming out of the E note one more time. Okay, so there you have it. That's the whole tune. And in order to absorb this, it's best to play along with the slow version with Bill as many times as you can. I'm talking about 50 or 100 times to really get it to where you can hear it. I've done my best to explain it, but it's nearly impossible to explain it in a way that will allow you to hear it. The best way for you to hear it is to take what you can from the explanation and really hone your own ear into what's going on with Bill. All right, so let's try to play it together kind of slowly one time, okay? Here we go. One, two, three, four.
right, let's have it a little bit faster and then we'll be done. Here we go. One, two, three. So there you have it, more or less, Pocahontas.